In this video, we are going to install Optimus State Manager, make changes to our app, and learn how to observe the changes made. DHX Optimus Store is a state manager that allows you to save the state of the app and to get the state asynchronously after changing it from any part of the app. Now, let's install DHX Optimus Store. Navigate to the root directory and run the following command, npm i dhx optimus store. To initialize the state manager in the application, open the index.js file and update its code. We need to create the initial state constant to define the initial state of the app. It takes an object with a key value, pair as a parameter, the active property, which is key, is just one of the states of the app. You can add or create as many states as you need. Then we initialize the global store in the public property of the store class that takes the initial state as a parameter. We assign the store key to the public params property to be able to get the value of the global store in any part of the app via this dot params dot store dot get state. We apply the get state method to assign the current state of the global store to the public state property. We use the global event bus to change the state of the app. When a user clicks the button in the toolbar, the global view change event will be called, and the ID of the selected button will be passed to the active property as a new state of the app. To improve our application and make it possible to asynchronously observe the changes made to the global store anywhere, we should add the observe method into the toolbar view and top layout views. Let's update the toolbar view.js file with the following code. We add the observe method. Now after the active state of the app changes, the select method of the toolbar will set the actual state of the toolbar. Now let's update the top layout view. We won't render the default view in the content cell on initialization of the layout anymore. Instead, we use the observe to show the initial state of the active property. In our case, we specify the active property to first. Let's run the application now. The first view is active by default. It means that the ID of the button that should be active by default is passed to the state manager on initialization of the application now. In this video, we have discussed how to use the Optimus state manager and observe changes made in our application. Watch the next video to learn how to add DHX widgets into our application.